Have you ever had a conversation with Siri? Have you ever used Google Translate to help with your late Spanish homework? Well, then you have made use of natural language processing and all of its glory. Natural language processing, or NLP for short, is all about how computers understand human speech and text and how they then use this information to produce useful and practical applications. So, how does it work? Well, a large part of NLP relies heavily on an area of computer science known as machine learning. So, in order to understand NLP, we must firstly have an understanding of how machine learning works. So think about the way your brain learns. It first collects all the information available to it and then breaks it down by categorizing it into chunks that it can then use to make predictions based on what works and what doesn't. Machine learning works in pretty much the same way. So how does machine learning relate to NLP? Well, one of the hot topics within NLP is automatic summarization. This is the way a computer is able to take large chunks of text and break it down and produce a short summary of the main points. This can be done using supervised machine learning. Let me explain what that is. Imagine we start with many large documents of text and many handwritten summaries for each of those texts and then input all of this data into the computer. We are given it what is called labeled data, i.e. data that the computer knows explicitly each time what is a good summary and what is not. The computer will then be able to understand through statistical analysis what features or variables of the sentence are frequent in good summaries and then be able to use this information to produce a good summary when given unseen chunks of text. Side note, a common problem to be aware of is the curse of dimensionality. This is where the more variables you have, the more dimensions you have to analyse, and so the data you input becomes sparser, because the volume it has to fill becomes exponentially larger, therefore reducing the statistical accuracy. So, I hope you found this video interesting, and I encourage you to delve deeper and unearth the truly fascinating world of natural language processing.